This is Keelan Ann, and today I'm going to talk to you about a movie I just recently saw, The Ward. Now, it's supposed to be this thriller, scary type movie, and at first it was scary. It was, it was a really freaky movie. You're thinking, oh my gosh, all these people are stuck in this ward, these, these young girls. All these young girls are stuck in this ward, and there's a dead patient haunting them. And to me, I was like, oh my god, that really sucks. What happened to the patient? Why is she dead at the ward? So you start seeing like slight flashbacks of like the possibility maybe she died from a lobotomy. Maybe she died from uh, electric shock therapy. Um, there, there's just a whole bunch of things. And you're just like, oh my god, this is a really psycho place. Not just because there's psychos there, but because the doctors might be fucking around with the patients. And so this entire time, that's what I keep thinking. I'm like, oh my goodness, this, these poor girls. Not only is this ghost haunting them, but the, the doctor's going to like do something terrible. And my entire thought process was is they were going to uncover what the doctor was doing and he was going to start like killing them off one by one. Well, I was wrong. Um, the ghost was actually killing off the girls one by one. And I thought, okay, that's, that's kind of strange. She's in the same situation they were in. Wouldn't you want to help? But whatever, it's a scary movie. And then it keeps going and it keeps going. And right at the end, right at the very end, is when it suddenly does this big like flip around that it's not a bunch of girls at this ward. It's one girl. One girl who has bipolar disorder and personality disorder. And so she's got all these freaking personalities and she talks to every single one of them. And so it like it goes back into like what you've already seen in the movie of oh, she was a therapy. It was group therapy, but it wasn't really group therapy. There was one girl sitting there talking to herself to a bunch of other girls that she had created that were all herself. Um and the ghost character that's running around killing off all the the different girls is the original her. It's it's who she is, not that she's a killer. It's just she's locked away her original self because of trauma and stuff like that. And I was it made me laugh for some reason. It was no longer a scary movie. It was a funny movie about a psycho chick who was imagining all these crazy situations. And I, I didn't even know what to think of it anymore. I was no longer scared of it. It suddenly became funny because the girl's trying to kill herself. You're looking at all these scenes where there were multiple girls in the scenes, you know, they're trying to escape and stuff, and you're like, dude, she's, she's trying to help her, these other girls escape, and it's not even other girls escaping, it's just her. And so it just made the entire movie suddenly a comedy for me. It was no longer scary, no longer frightening. It was just funny. If I sit down and watch it again, because I already know how it ends, and I've already seen it, everything just became funny after that. Even the ghost chick isn't, she's not really overly scary. I mean, I was more scared of the girl from The Ring than I was of this chick. She just kind of looked like a really nasty, ugly looking zombie that might have gotten fried a few times, but was still walking around. And it's, funny. It's not poorly done. The acting was great. Everything was great. I just think that to me it was executed a little poorly because when you finally get to the end and you find out what's going on, like I said, it made me laugh. I know I was cracking up because of it. And it could have been done a little bit differently to the point to where it wasn't exactly funny where you were just like, holy crap. And I mean, I was holy crap, but I also wasn't I was no longer into it after that point. To me, for some reason, that no longer became this horror film. It was no longer this film of something was actually running around killing people. It was all fake. It suddenly all became fake. Nobody was dying. Nobody was getting their heads, like, lobotomized. Nobody was getting electric shocked to death. N none of it. it just, none of it was actually happening. And that was the part that was kind of disappointing, was like... There was no bad guy in the end, and there was no good guy. There, 
sure, she suddenly was no longer crazy by the end. She was taking her pills and uh, all better. Shock therapy worked and whatnot. But other than that, like, the rest of the movie just suddenly became shit to me because none of the other stuff happened. I mean, it did, but it only happened to the one girl. And even then, some of those other girls weren't even real. So, like, one of the girls gets her throat slit, and you're like, okay, her throat got slit. But then you're going, okay, that girl hallucinated that the entire freaking time. She killed off one of her own personalities and hallucinated a real death. So she was freaking out in the bathroom about freaking nothing. It, it basically became a, if you've worked at a ward or been in an asylum or seen other asylum movies, it basically just became a documentary of some psycho chick. It wasn't even anything paranormal. There was um, nobody breaking laws. There wasn't any crazy doctor killing off people. It wasn't the crazy nurse. It was literally a documentary about this girl's psycho trip in a ward. And I was looking for a little bit more. Um, not saying it was a bad movie to watch. You can go ahead and check it out on Netflix. Uh, that's where I got it. You can buy it at the store if you really want. I wouldn't buy it. It's not worth the buy for me. But overall, it, it was an okay movie. It was okay. It honestly was just okay. Um, that's all for now. I'll see you guys next time. And kind of a disappointing movie. I was a little disappointed. But I'll see you guys next time. You can find the links to all our sponsors below. Thanks for watching.